Hi everybody, my name is Sabrina from Sephora Squad and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this e-girl look. When I think e-girl, I think rosy cheeks, some freckles, some nice graphic eyeliner. So if you're interested on seeing how I created this look, then keep on watching. So the first thing we're going to use is the Say Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Rosy. You need a lot of blush and you need to look very flush. So we're just going to get right in here. This formula is amazing, super creamy and buildable. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose as well. And when I'm blending it out, I'm going to blend it under my eyes too. And I'm using the Sephora Collection Pro Blush Brush in number 96. And I'm just using a tapping motion to seamlessly blend this in. You can also bring some extra product that you have left over on your brush on your forehead and on your chin. I think that's super cute. All right, blush is complete. Let's move on to freckles. For the freckles, I'm using the Freck OG from Freck. This product is super easy to use. It has a super small applicator, so you can get super precise. And as you're pressing on the dots, it's gonna stamp them and duplicate them, making it so quick. Just like that, and then when you tap them out, you're gonna see that it's gonna lighten and spread. I wouldn't consider myself an e-girl, but I do love dressing up. Halloween is my favorite time of the year, and this look is so cute to me. And if you want your freckles to be a little bit darker in some areas, which I do like the contrast of having it light and dark, you just have to leave it on a little bit longer before tapping it out. So now I'm gonna add the contrast that I was talking about. I'm gonna add a few darker freckles and let them sit for a little bit. So this is where we're at with the blush and the freckles. I think it's super cute and I think we can move on to eyes next. The first step for the eyes is eyeshadow. I'm going in with the Master Mattes by Makeup by Mario. This eyeshadow palette is so nice, especially if you only wear mattes. I rarely go towards shimmer shades, so this palette is so perfect for me. I'm going in with the shade right over here. It's a nice toasty brown just to define the crease a little bit and it's just gonna lay a nice base for the eyeliner. I'm gonna dip into that with the Sephora Pro Crease Brush. This is number 27. I find that the shape of this brush is so perfect to diffuse any colors in the crease. So as I'm applying this, I'm really only going in that outer crease here and I'm gonna flick it out. And it doesn't need to be perfect because the eyeliner will be covering most of it. Super simple, I'm just gonna do that on my other eye. Using the lightest shade in the palette, I'm gonna be brightening up my crease using the Sephora Pro Brush in number 14. It's a really nice packer brush. Then going back in with the first brush that we used, I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit more. Perfect, I think we're pretty much done and we can move on to eyeliner now. Liquid eyeliner is a crucial part to the e-girl look. So I'm going in with the One Size by Patrick Starr. This is the point made, it has a really nice fine tip for this graphic liner. So for today's eyeliner look, I really wanna create something nice and graphic, but still kind of subtle. So I'm going in with a straight line, connecting to my lower lash line, and then I'm gonna do a half liner over here. Perfect, so now that both of our lines are connected, I'm just gonna do a little crescent shape on the inside just to connect both of them a little bit more. Now that this eye is done, we can move on to the other side. Perfect, now that eyeliner is complete, we can move on to lashes. I'm gonna be using the Lily Lashes. This is in the style Natural, and it's their new Faux Mink collection. Lashes are done. Now we're gonna tie in the blush to the lipstick just to really make that blush pop. I'm going in with the Refi Lip Sculpt in the shade Taupe to define my lips. What's really cool about this product is that you have the lip liner in the top compartment, and then you have a sealer on the bottom, which will make your lipstick last all day. I'm overlaying my lips just a little bit and straightening out the cupid's bow to make it look more pouty. Now to seal it, we're gonna take this little guy over here and pass it along where we just applied the lip liner. Now I'm going in with the Merit Signature Lipstick in the shade Baby. Just like that. Blush, check, freckles, check, and graphic liner, check. I think we have this look down pat. I would love to know in the comments if you're gonna recreate this look. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm.